Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 27th. I haven't seen you in a few days, so welcome back. Um, so today, we're going to be doing a writing exercise this morning, and then you will be joining me for a Zoom meeting so that we can do our reading group and read Ed Sled, the story and letter book E. But before we begin our writing exercise, we need to do a little bit of research. So we're going to be reading a nonfiction book. Do you remember what nonfiction means? It means it's not made up. It's based on fact. And we're going to be talking about this subject. It starts with short vowel E. Let's tap it out. Eggs. 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 Mm. Two Gs. Only one sound. Egg. And S on the end sometimes makes that Z sound. Z. Eggs. And do you remember we put an S on the end of a word when we have more than one. So we're not just talking about one egg, we're talking about more than one. So we say eggs. So I want to show you what the inside of an egg looks like. And you probably have seen this when you're baking or maybe eating breakfast and you've added an egg to something. So the outer part is the hard shell. Inside, they don't label this, but there's a tiny membrane. And a membrane is just this thin piece of material that holds the white together because it's liquid and you don't want it to ooze out so it kind of holds it together. Then you have what we call the white of the egg and then the yellow part is the yolk and this is where the animal would develop within the yolk and that's where you would see it. So this is what the inside of an egg looks like. So today we're going to be reading a book by Ruth Heller. So she wrote the words so she must be the author exactly and we talked about how some folks are very talented they not only write books they illustrate books so she is also an illustrator and the title of our book chickens aren't the only ones hmm wonder what that title tells us chickens aren't the only ones think about it well to me it says that chickens might not be the only animal that hatch out of eggs. So we're going to read this story and think about what other animals might hatch out of an egg. Chickens aren't the only one. Chickens lay eggs that you buy. And we've talked about this. The female chicken is called the hen and the male chicken is called the rooster. Chickens lay eggs you buy. The eggs you boil or the eggs you fry. So some of us like scrambled eggs. Some of us like our eggs, what we call over easy or a fried egg. So chickens make those types of eggs. They lay them. Or even the ones that you dye. Or leave alone so you can see what naturally grows inside. But chickens aren't the only one. I know what type of bird that is that spreads its beautiful feathers. So this is a peacock. So a peacock also hatches out of an egg. Every bird, every bird, wild or tame, does the same. So we have a turkey, we have a swan there, we have a couple of ducks at the bottom. We talked about a flamingo when we did F, and remember they eat shrimp to give them that beautiful pink color. There's penguin. Uh, I see types of eagles, uh, lots of tropical birds. So all birds hatch out of eggs. The ostrich lays the largest egg. Remember how we talked about the largest egg is laid by an ostrich? And the hummingbird lays the smallest. So I don't know if you can see, but this is a comparison of the hummingbird egg versus the ostrich egg. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too. And you'll notice their egg is shaped a little bit different. It's very oval and long. And crocodiles and turtles. And dinosaurs who are extinct. But they were reptiles too, so they also hatched from eggs. Frogs, toads, and salamanders lay eggs. When they hatch, they're tadpoles. 
They grow legs and climb a, out, climb a lily pad, just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skins. They are called amphibians. Oh, what else do you think lays eggs? Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. And fish eggs are quite round and they almost look like jelly and they kind of stick together. This mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch and then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? So in this case, the mother lays her eggs in the father's pouch and he takes care of them until they hatch. These fathers, too, are helping out by guarding eggs protected by that foamy mass that's floating by. And they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. Mm. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one by a shark, this one by a ray, is a mermaid's purse, they say. You'll remember last week, I showed you on my phone a picture of the mermaid purse and also the pouch that the shark egg uh, lays. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. So they look like this. They're really pretty and they hang down. So that's the octopus egg. The moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar looking band. So you see that right there? Eggs inside. Spiders wrap their eggs in sacks. And snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow. So we've got spiders and snails lay eggs. And so do insects, who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow and grow and grow and then climb up a stem and change into a chrysalis and change again one summer morn. So look at all the insects, all the beetles, bees, hornets. They all lay eggs. Butterflies. And the butterfly starts out as an egg and turns into a caterpillar and then into a chrysalis. Don't say a cocoon. A moth forms a cocoon. A butterfly forms a chrysalis. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals or mammalia. Spiny eater, eater. Um, but these two exceptions, they both live in Australia. Look at these. They're mammals, but guess what? They lay eggs. The duckbill platypus lays in eggs. Chickens aren't the only ones. There are no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg. See all our egg-laying animals? So, we're going to be doing a writing exercise in a minute. You're going to join me for the writing exercise. After we write our sentence, our words and our sentences, you're going to illustrate some animal or insect or maybe a reptile that hatches out of an egg. So think about three that you would like to illustrate as part of our writing exercise. And I'll see you in just a second for the writing portion.